Okay, so for our, our final um, artist talk today, um, uh, please join me in welcoming Miho Kajioka. Um, so Miho, um, is it all right if I call you Miho? Yeah, sure. <laughs> we actually know each other a little bit, so it would be odd to, uh, to um, call you by your last name in the Japanese uh, way. Um, Miho is from Japan and uh, currently lives in, in Kyoto in Japan. And um, Miho, I think it's interesting, uh, Miho studied painting in uh, the San Francisco Art Institute and did a BFA at Concordia University in, in Montreal. Um, so uh, in, you know, in North America, she, she got this artistic um, education. And uh, well, we actually first met a few years ago um, when uh, you were showing uh, um, your project, uh, and where did the, the peacocks go, which, which was your first uh, book. Um, and uh, today we're meeting to discuss your latest book, um, published with uh, the M uh, editions. Um, and the book is entitled, So It Goes. Um, and, uh, well, let's, why don't we just start by, by asking where this title comes from? Hi. Um, yeah, this is uh, from a quote uh, from a Slaughterhouse Five, which is a Kurt Vonnegut um, uh, novel, and uh, this is a story about time traveling. And I always uh, was has been very fascinated by the fact that uh, the photography capture the like moment and freeze them and then you can play with it. Uh, so displaying uh, those um, images on walls are really like, I don't know, I, I got really um, interested in. And then uh, I always wanted to present um, something with their time, but I never really came up uh, with a good idea. And then a few years ago, I started to make a book and then, uh, um, yeah, I, I, asked, I took a workshop um, with uh, Tun van der Heiden, and I said, please help me. And he just, uh, he said, why don't you start with some kind of novel or something? Then I'm like, oh. And then I put it together and then this, um, yeah, this happened. Actually, this is the, uh, the quote, I believe, that we just saw. And I'm, I wanted to, to um, discuss with you, because you have a, a, a very interesting practice, um, which, uh, kind of progresses into the, the form of the book. So um, your prints are, are quite unique in the way that you, you make your prints. Um, and we've seen some, some images of those prints. And um, the book that we're discussing, So It Goes, it is published by a publisher, but you also hand make uh, books before. And this book is, is a trade edition of, a, of one of your handmade books. So can you talk a bit about how you go through these different steps from the print to the handmade book and then to, to a book uh, with a publisher? Okay. Um, I, all of those um, prints are from uh, my gelatin silver. And they, um, I scan them. And then uh, making books um, lately, uh, with, especially with So It Goes, this book, I started this project. Um, with the uh, exhibition version and uh, at the same time from the uh, making uh, dummy books. And um, books um, to make dummies, I, I mean, I make a lot of dummies, probably more than 100 uh, dummies. I have to have the dummy and then I see something's wrong and then I re, uh, like fix and then, then a um, book makes me f um, see things the, the, the project more clear um, rather than just having that as a print. Um, so I develop uh, both um, at the same time. And um, after 100 something um, dummies, I'm like, okay, I, I think this is good. And then I always try to show people because um, it's, you have to have an um, opinion from uh, outside. And um, so I m wait till my friends or people say like, what should I do? And they say, don't touch anymore. And then I'm like, okay, that's time to publish. And I think we can see, we're seeing images of the, of the book itself. And as you can see, there's a lot of transparency. Um, 
you, um, you can't obviously uh, touch the book on screen, but there's a lot of texture. And with your books, it seems like the material quality uh, of the book and with your prints too is very important. So can you talk a little bit about you know, why that is important to you, the t different materials and, and these kind of aspects? Um, I, my brain is not really, really made um, well. It's, it doesn't work, but it's more like feeling. And um, the, the, um, the paper is one of the very, very important uh, element. And um, it's not only the, the, the you know, touching feeling, but um, I don't know why, but uh, I just know when it works. And when it doesn't work, I know it's wrong. So I have to try. And luckily, I'm speak, uh, living in uh, Japan, where we are so spoiled with a very beautiful paper. So I, I try to print on different papers. And when it works, I'm just, I just know. And then it's not only the, the thickness or quality, but you know the, the sound also. And uh, everything, when everything works well, I, I'm like, OK, it works. And something else that I'm sure people have noticed um, in this book is maybe the format of your images. Some of your images are in very unusual formats. Um, like the images that you are showing at, at Ibasho Gallery uh, at Paris Photo. So can you talk about how you develop these unusual formats and why you like to use those? Um, again, it's like I cannot uh, explain because um, when I'm uh, working in a dark room, um, I have the print and then I, then after that, I try to find the best um, composition and the size and this is something again comes from somewhere it's uh, when it works i'm like okay this should be like that hmm okay or oh no it's too small or big and, and so each time with different images i do this this process but um, um so it's just organic thing but um, now i'm doing a tanzaku series and that's um tanzaku is a piece of paper um, in Japan, we use that for writing poetry. So it's like this much, this big. And then um, one of my friend, who is an architect, who, who, he told me that in Japan, we have certain, uh, certain dimensions, which have been that uh, dimension. Mm, quite, not uh, quite, you know, but it's like that. Uh, it's 7.5 centimeter and uh, 36.4 centimeter, yeah, vertical. And he said um, there are, they should have uh, reasons why, like kimono or tatami or scroll uh, paper, I uh, know, paintings, they have a certain amount, a certain dimensions. It has been like hundreds years like that. He said it should have a reason why that has that um, dimension for such long time. He said it should have a golden ratio. So he said, why don't you try uh, the Tanzak um, uh, size? It might, you might um, find something else. So this time it's all that uh, Tanzak style. And it, I think he was really right. And uh, I found something very new. Okay, so um, I will turn it over to the audience if there are questions in the audience for Miho. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where can we find your, your books? This is a very good question. Good. Um, I'm having a book signing um, at uh, Ibasho Gallery, which is A35. And uh, yeah. What time? Oh, uh, six o'clock. And um, no. I'm also going to say that Miho is going to be signing later on um, tonight at, at the, the Eyes um, launch event at La Comet, um, the bookstore La Comet. She'll also be signing copies. So um, a full day of signing yeah. for you. Tomorrow too. Tomorrow I have a um, polka, 2 o'clock at the polka gallery. Um, and then uh, 6 o'clock at the polycopy. So. So you have no excuse to not go to one of Miho's signings, at least. Um, do we have a, another question? No? 
Um, I did have another uh, question. What do birds mean for you? There are many, many uh, birds in the images. I know. I, I didn't notice, actually, until uh, somebody said, like, you must like birds. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I see, like, um, I don't know, really, like, um, when, I, when I take pictures, I never really um, plan. I'm uh, walking always with uh, something to take photos. And whatever attracts me, I'm like, boop, boop, boop. And I'm not a very good photographer, but my background is painting and drawings. So it's like um, taking pictures are just like preparations for me, like going to a um, uh, grocery store or go to a forest and pick up uh, mushrooms. And then at home, which is uh, in my atelier or um, dark room, I, I think, OK, how can I, what can I cook? or how can I cook? So probably that's like, without really thinking, I am attracted by um, birds or something fly. I have a lot of uh, butterflies too. <laughs> you, you took birds unconsciously without thinking, just like Did you take birds unconsci unconsciously without thinking or you were aware of it? Uh, I really basically i don't think i don't think but um so it's actually i let uh, my um in intuition to yeah because you know sometimes i think you know i try to work with uh, my brain and then i don't like those pictures it's really like boring so i don't know what um well I, um, once I was asked to, to, to do a bird's um, uh, pictures, so that time, of course, I went to zoo, <laughs> or, you know, I, I was walking like that, but um, basically, I don't, I don't think, I don't, I, I tried not to plan. It's a of hmm? it's a of yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Miho. Thank you. <laughs> And so your, your signing will be at 6 o'clock at Ibasho A35. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you.